almost there. <sighs> Something just doesn't feel right about this whole thing. Yeah, I'm just not sure about this. Well, look. We already signed up, and there's no point in turning back now. Plus, it's a pretty simple job, considering the fact that I'm trying to save up for I knew. For I knew it? Yeah. We know. Didn't mean to flex how much more money I have. <laughs> huh? You and your whopping bank account total of $5,000? Yeah, okay. 5000 more than you're rolling with. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Me and you both know, bro. Ugh, oh, can you guys shut up already? I think that's the place. Yikes, looks like Todd's house. Mm -hmm. This place really did go down there. Huh. Guess so. Hello! Welcome to your first night. night. Come on, I'd man. like to congratulate you on the behalf of Tony's Tacos on earning your position here as security personnel. We know it's a big deal, so don't worry. We'll make sure you're equipped with the right tools necessary to complete this job. So with that being said, let's get you acquainted. First of all, in your office there are two important things to know. Number one, your computer, or otherwise known as your security camera. Tapping into your computer should allow you to access your security camera, which were placed strategically throughout the facility. I do want to tell you though that these security cameras do not cover every inch. I mean, there are plenty of blind spots. Two and boring blind spots actually lie right outside your doors. This means that you won't be able to see outside of your doors if they are closed. Now, this brings us to our next important piece of discussion. Your blast doors. These were installed primarily for your security. We do realize that you are working a job with hazardous risks. So in case anything happens, you're being chased or somebody's trying to break in, you can close the black doors, make sure that your safety is your priority. Now, these black doors aren't anything to play with. They're not toys. They are highly dangerous if you stand under them. They will close on anything, so anything that's standing in its way, you can say goodbye to it. It's also critical to realize that these two doors, when closed, put an extreme amount of strain on our only two workers. Sometimes too much for our generators to handle, so please be careful. Now that may lead you into the question of, well, where are these generators? I mean, if they do break down, is there anything you can do about it? Yeah, you can. We trained you on how to repair them, so let me tell you where they're located. Within your office should be a newly installed flat screen TV, which displays a digital map of the entire restaurant. This is going to come in handy whenever you need to locate something. Now there should be alarm lights installed on that TV screen. These alarm lights will only enable whenever there's a malfunction or a shutdown of any sorts. So if a generator were to accidentally break down at some point, an alarm light should go off telling you exactly where you need to go to fix it. Luckily for you, the only two generators that power this entire facility are located in the same area, the parts and service region. The third and only alarm light in the arcade actually corresponds to the ventilation system. We have installed our ventilation reset switch in the arcade. I know it's unconventional, but our engineers decided that was the best spot for it. Knowing where the ventilation reset switch is located will be the deciding factor between life or death. The cons about purchasing an old abandoned pizzeria is that everything around it is pretty much historic. I mean, they're antiques, so your ventilation system sucks. Sorry to break it to you, but you're going to have to reset it every once in a while. Since all the doors are locked here, you're not going to have an extra airflow of air anytime soon. Oh, and there's one more thing I forgot to mention within your office. Towards the south wall in the back part of your office should be a small stage. On this stage should be an old and abandoned animatronic. Now this is a relic from the old pizzeria. If you're not good with puppets or anything of that sort, then you can keep the curtain closed. I mean, if you don't want to see it, make sure it doesn't see you, am I right? And that brings me to my next point. There are a variety of other abandoned animatronics. 
electronics left over from the other pizzeria lying around here. This includes the front stage, parts and service region, the warehouse, you name it, there's at least something that we can salvage there. Not to worry, these animatronics are shut down, so there's no source of power anywhere within their rigs. So between me and you, there shouldn't be another incident. But that about covers it.
Hello, welcome back. It's good to see you. I'm sure your last night was a learning experience. Tonight you should be more efficient, knowing the area, knowing your surroundings. You should be able to get places quickly. With that being said, your duties remain the same as last night. Continue to monitor your power and oxygen levels as those are critical for your survival. Malfunctions are bound to occur, so make sure those shoelaces are tied because you're going to be running. Just make it till 6 a.m. and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, have a nice night.
Tacos that you're still working for us, still kicking it. Being a security guard for this new establishment isn't easy, and we understand that, so we're here to extend our gratitude. On the desk in front of you should be a bonus, which you can collect for being such a good sport and putting up with all these obstacles I'm sure that you've faced. Now, there's an elephant in the room that we need to address the animatronics. I'm sure you've encountered them, had your fair share of moments and scares, but here's the important part. We can't let you discuss this with anybody else outside of this establishment. In fact, we're going to actually present a legal document to you and we need your signature. Now remember, and it's important to keep this in mind, that when you applied for this job, you gave away your location and information so we could contact you. I know many of you have loving families that live with you and siblings that I'm sure you love. So, you decide to maybe trash this document, ignore the document, shred it, just think it doesn't exist. It would be a shame if something were to happen after your shift here. Maybe the door was unlocked, you forgot to lock it, someone broke in. You know, those unfortunate events that sometimes happen to some unfortunate people. 
Now I don't want to leave you completely in the dark here. Your survival is actually our priority. Like I have previously said, your safety is our number one concern. Tonight's going to include an interesting figure, the Fox animatronic, or as they used to call him, Foxy. He'll roam outside his cove every once in a while. He'll maybe journey to your office, or I don't know, maybe go wherever the party is. But luckily for you, I had our technicians recently install a tool that you can use to make him return back to his cove. You will be able to access this tool every time he exits from his cove. It should be located directly in front of his cove, and make sure to use it to your advantage. Now that pretty much covers all of the new information that you need to know tonight. I hope to see you tomorrow, and I wish your family a good night. These animatronics have enough power to run all night.
Our boss is He's definitely hiding something. Well, um, you're here for night four. That's, um, that's a surprise. Look, I'm on limited time here, so I'm gonna keep this short. Your duties remain the same as usual, but there's one twist. I know it's been so to fix your generators whenever you shut down, but now there's a problem with that. One of the animatronics here, actually, um, the bird, or if you're more savvy into the old establishment's history, Chica. Chica's great, you know, she's a wonderful person. You should get to know her sometime. But there's one massive flaw which you could exploit. Direct eye contact with the animatronic actually shuts it down, stops it from moving, attacking, you get the idea. Just be diligent around the parts and service region and continue what you've been doing for the last three nights. That should cover everything and uh, well I hope to see you tomorrow if you make it. Have a great night.
I'm surprised how this old clock has been working just fine. Thank you. 
doing? Ain't it stuck? Hurry up! A punch it or something! Hey, something's coming! Whoa, hurry! hurry. What the?